Welcome. All right, so in this case, we have log base 2 um, raised to the 1 over the square root of 2. Now, in this example, uh, this kind of looks a little tricky uh, for what we're going to be looking at. And you know, the reason why is obviously we have a square root and we have a, have a fraction in there. So the first thing I would say is let's get rid of the fraction, get rid of the square root, and see if this, this problem might make a little bit more sense. So first of all, I can rewrite my fraction. Remember, if we have uh, the a root of x to the b, we can rewrite that as x equals um, b over a. All right, 1 half, correct. So therefore, you can see this is the square root. So I can rewrite this as log base 2 of 1 over 2 to the 1 half power. All right. Now, let's try to get this without it being um, a fraction. Well, and remember, if I have 1 over x to the negative, negative fraction or negative power, I can rewrite that as a power, positive power, making it, I'm sorry. If I have it positive in the denominator, I can rewrite it in the numerator as negative. So therefore, I can say log base 2 of 2 to the negative 1 half power. So now what we're trying to say is 2 raised to what power equals 2 raised to the negative 1 half. Well, obviously, you guys can see here that log base 2 of 2, just like when we had our rule of exponents, log, um, log base m of m raised to the x just equals x. So therefore, that's going to um, simplify out. And we're just left with negative 1 half is your simplified answer. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you simplify your logarithm without um, using the calculator. Thanks.